Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for joining us, spending these few moments in God's word and in prayer. This week we've been reflecting on God's will for our lives. Today we'll cover discernment to understand God's word. Psalms 119 verse 125. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. Discernment is the ability to understand and apply the Word of God to separate truth from error, right from wrong, and wisdom from foolishness. It's also a process of making wise decisions that are spiritually sound. The Bible emphasizes the importance of discernment through both the Old and in the New Testament. In declaring how he treasures God's word, the psalmist isn't merely offering a beautiful sentiment. He offers this like evidence in a court of law, as if he is testifying. Because he loves God's word above all else and seeks to follow them, God should rescue him from his oppressors. To the human mind, without the spirit, the things of God are foolishness. The Spirit then gives us spiritual discernment. King Solomon was known for his power of discernment, making many wise decisions and moral judgments. Believers today are to be discerning as well. Paul prayed for the believers to discern what is best until the day of Christ. A discerning person will acknowledge the worth of God's word. All the words of my mouth are, ju are just and none of them are crooked or perverse. To the discerning, all of them are right. They are faultless to those who have knowledge. Seeking discernment is a goal for all who desire to walk righteously. Knowing that we tend to see only from our point of view and that we often fall short, we can learn from the psalmist's request. He acknowledges he needs help in understanding God's precious word. He guides us through circumstances, through the Holy Spirit and through his word. But our greatest assurance comes when we triangulate the same answer from all three sources. If you are seeking God's will for a decision you are facing and the Holy Spirit seems to be speaking to your heart, be sure to confirm what you are sensing by looking at the circumstances in God's word as the ultimate source. God's word is eternal. God's word is truth. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your leading and your guidance, Lord. And even as we, as your children, Lord, we go through life with many decisions to make, many roads to walk in, Lord, we pray that you will speak to us through your word, give us discernment, help us, Lord, to know what to do, when and where to do it, God. We thank you that your word promises us the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he will delight in his ways. I pray that each one of us will delight in your ways. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.